Congratulations on the purchase of your exterior solar shade. This video will help guide you through the installation process. To install your shade, you will need the following tools. A tape measure, a level, a Phillips head screwdriver, a pen or pencil, and a power drill. Before you begin, you will need to determine your type of installation. Your shade can be installed on either a wall or ceiling. If you are installing your shade on a wall or beam, as shown here, you are performing a wall installation. If you are installing your shade underneath a beam or overhang, as shown here, you are performing a ceiling installation. Your shade comes with the cord installed on the right side with the fabric rolling towards the front. If you would like to keep your cord on the right side, skip to step 3. If you would like to move the cord to the left side, you will need to complete step 2. The plug bracket is shown in this picture. To move your cord from right to left, you will need to reverse the metal disc on the plug bracket. Simply remove the three screws on the back of the plug bracket and rotate the disc so that it is open to the other channel. And replace the screws. It is now time to prepare to install your brackets by marking your pilot holes for installation. Before you begin, consider the following tips. It is important to install your brackets into wood studs. If wood studs are not available, anchors will be needed. These are not included. Contact your local hardware store for information on wall anchors. You must install your brackets straight and level with each other. If you do not install these brackets level, the shade will not install properly. If you are doing a wall installation, you must leave at least one and a half inches of clearance above the shade to allow it to slide into place. Your shade may have come with an installation template to help you align your pilot holes. Start by temporarily attaching the template to the mounting surface. Make sure it is level and flat. Mark and drill your pilot holes in the dark oval areas. Remove the template before installing your brackets. If your shade did not come with a template, use this table to determine the distance between your pilot holes. These measurements are also included in your instruction manual. Be careful to note the width of your shade so you select the correct screw to screw measurement. Select your spot for the left or right bracket. It does not matter which you select first. Make sure the bracket is level and then mark your pilot holes. Measure the distance suggested in the table to find the correct spot for your next pilot hole. The required screw to screw measurements can be found in your installation manual. It is now time to drill your pilot holes. Make sure that your bracket covers are not installed on your brackets. If they are installed, remove them. Install your brackets using two screws per bracket. Do not tighten the screws all the way down. The bracket should be firmly in place but should still be able to shift slightly. After installing the shade, you may need to shift the location of the bracket before tightening down the screws all the way. Now it is time to install your shade. 
Insert the clutch with cord into the clutch bracket. Make sure the cord is hanging down towards the ground as shown. Next, slide the plug with pin into the metal disc on the plug bracket. You will need to lower the shade all the way down to access the screws on the brackets. Now push the brackets in towards the shade to reduce slack. Once your shade no longer slides from side to side, tighten the screws on the brackets completely. If you have an extra long bit for your power drill, it will make this process easier. Replace your bracket covers. The cord safety device keeps the cord secure and reduces the risk of strangulation. The cord safety device is pre-installed on the cord. Using two cord safety device screws, attach the cord safety device to a wall or post, making sure the cord is tight. If a wood stud is not available, you will need to use an anchor, which is not included. See your local hardware store for more information. Your shade has bottom rail rings pre-installed on the bottom rail. These rings can be used to secure your shade during breezy conditions. You may use a screw, nail, S-hook, or any other device to secure your shade. Always roll up your shade during windy conditions.